Yo, what's going on? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a count. Well, mm, we'll say a timer rather than countdown. We'll say a timer where, like, when you click the start uh, button, it counts up, and then when you die, um, the timer stops. Yeah, the timer stops and stuff like that. This video is a subscriber requested video. It was requested from Skelly Bo uh, Skelly Box. So I hope this video is helpful, answers your question, and you know. Uh, this video is what you were looking for and stuff. So yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna get straight into it. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna head on over to Starter GUI, into a screen GUI, name this timer GUI, then insert a frame. You could call it timer, call it timer frame. <clears throat> then we'll get our frame. We could like bring it down here and then just you can really just like edit it just, just a little bit just tap it the, the UI doesn't really matter I'm just here to show you guys the scripting and stuff like that but anyway I'll just make mine gray then I'm gonna insert a text label and then I'm gonna do that bring that down here and then what you guys want to do for the text label you can name this timer text you can make the background color I'm just gonna make it look like a little darker gray um uh, clear all text like it, it literally does not need to say anything uh, rich text scale text I'm gonna change my color to be red then I'll make it bold and yeah we're, we're done well with that with that and then we're gonna do text button same thing as before but instead we're leaving it at the position it's already at up here then you can name this uh, well we're already at the bottom so I'll just do the text you wanna name this start timer then just like before make it bold rich text scale the text and oh yeah change the color to red then go up here and then I'm just make my little darker gray just because I want to then you can name this timer button oh well timer button then you're gonna insert a local script into the timer button then you could call this timer script right then what you're gonna want to do is get the local player first so we're gonna do local player oh player is equal to game dot players dot local player then you're gonna want to do local status this this status value is like we'll call this a bull value right yes yeah, bull value or boolean I should say so this boolean is gonna be used to determine whether or not if a player is still currently alive or if they're dead that's how we're gonna know like whether or not to keep running the for I loop but yeah we're gonna set this to true and stuff because obviously if the player is clicking it they're alive and stuff like that but anyway um cause you have to obviously be alive to click well you could click it while you're dead but like uh, well no, no no that doesn't really matter anyway um so you skip a line to do script dot parent mouse button one click connect function close parentheses then enter then you want to get the character so let's do local character is equal to game dot wake space find first child player dot name and then here what well, I probably should do this first but anyway so what you guys want to do is go up here click enter and then do if status is equal to true then then you could come down here insert an end right there right this pretty much means if this boolean equals true it's default at the true right but if it equals anything but true but it can only the only opposite of true will be of course false pretty much if it's false then this will not run right okay so then we'll skip two lines then we'll do for i equals then we are going to do zero because that's where of course we're counting up so we want to start at zero then work its way up comma and then since it's a timer to like continuously keep going up and up and up we want to make them like the max number it, it goes up to like of course something really really high that like a person would never really get to like yeah I think, I think it's like one mil or something like that you know and then we want it to increase by one of course right then you click enter and then you want to do script dot parent dot parent dot timer text dot text is equal to i then of course put wait and then make it wait for one second so that uh it's counting up by one second right and then what you want to do is click enter twice and then you want to do character dot humanoid this one autofill so you're gonna to have to just pay close attention humanoid dot died connect function and then do status oh my fault not string status is equal to false right 
So, yeah, that's literally it. And stuff like that. So, pretty much to really explain it and stuff like that, it's, de it's default is set to true, but when you die, um, what's it called? Uh, it says it has to fall, so this will stop running. So we can go ahead and test this and stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, I did just put this together like a little bit, like, like, cause like I don't like do any videos, like I don't like do videos like off the top of my head unless like I know 100%. I knew I know how to do this, but like I just want to make sure and stuff. I don't want to get a video like make a mistake, but anyway. So we click start timer, and then it starts counting up: zero, one, two, three. Then if I die, as you guys can see, but for some reason, okay, that's weird. It should not have been that. Um, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, wait, wait, wait. I put this in the wrong place. Hold on. Okay, delete that, right? And then what you guys want to do is come down here. And then, uh, wait, is it, I think it's up here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's up here. It should be right there. It should be right there. My fault. Yeah, yeah. Delete that and then move it to down there and stuff like that. I was just talking about making mistakes too. That's my fault, guys. Okay. Now it's just count up and then if I die, and it's okay. Then it's still increasing. Okay. Mm, that is weird. Uh. Um. That's weird. Cause if um. Damn, cause I'm not gonna lie, I I recorded the video before and I ran into the same issue, well a similar issue, and then like I found and I figured it out, but then like, and then it's like, oh, damn, I don't remember how I don't remember what I did. I'm so sorry. Uh, five zero one. Two. If status equals true, cause I know if I put I know if I put it down here, it's gonna um. It's gonna crash because it's running a four IV in pairs loop over and over again. It's like the equivalent of a while true do loop. Uh, hmm. I'll test this. Like, you don't copy what I just what I just did and stuff like that. Because I'm not. I think what's gonna happen. It. I think it might freeze. But wait. Oh, oh, never mind, never mind. Oh, okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, okay. Okay. So yes, 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 yes. yes. This is how it should go. This is how it should go. Okay, so, right, so delete 4 IV in pairs when it was, I mean, not 4 right? if status equals equal, equal sign, equal sign, true, then delete that if it was up here or up here. Make sure it's right under the 4i equals 0, then however big number you have, then 1 do. Make sure it's right under here, right? Then now we click play. Okay, I'm sorry about that, guys. But yes, okay, we go in here, click start timer, it's counting up, and then we click reset, and boom. And then it stops, as you can see, if I click start timer, then boom, because it resets, like, the GUI automatically resets uh, when you um die and respawn. Well, we'll just say respawn. But anyway, so yeah, though. Um, what's it called? Scaly blocks. I hope this video was helpful to you and stuff like that, and it uh, answered, we'll say answered your question, I guess we could say, and stuff like that. As always, if you guys have videos, ideas, and stuff, I genuinely really appreciate video ideas. One. I really love helping people out when they want to figure something out too. It's great. It's great. I, like, cause it's like, I mean, with y'all, I have a hard time coming up with ideas. Cause I don't know what people want. Like, I've really done like majority of like the most common things, like shift to sprints, teleports, uh, uh, follow friends. Like, like I've done like the most of the like things that come come up in mind. So if y'all if y'all have suggestions, leave, leave them in the. Uh, comments and stuff like that remember links to join my discord and roblox group are in the description appreciate y'all for all the support and stuff like that let's run up to 300 subscribers and stuff and yeah i'll see y'all